So guys, I'm a fan of the house of Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. I've reviewed fragrances from this house, such as Ombre Pisseau and Ombre Mythique. And now, this is one that I've been wanting to review for quite some time, Queer Fetiche. And Queer Fetiche is basically, I think it translates to uh, leather fetish. But uh, what a wonderful leather uh, fragrance this one is. And it reminds me of some classics that are no longer around. So if you want to find out about Maitre Parfumé at Gantier's Queer Fetiche, plus have a chance at winning a full bottle shipped worldwide of Queer Fetiche, this is it right here, then you might want to stick around and watch this review and then find out how to participate in the giveaway. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time landing on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering some classics from the past, discovering new brands, participating in giveaways, and still haven't subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And make sure you click that bell notification icon so that when you are ending up as a winner of this fragrance, you end up getting my notification telling you you are the winner. So Queer Fetiche is a fragrance that I've loved from this house for quite some time. It was launched in 2011, uh, not like the previous fragrances that I've reviewed, like um, Ambre Prisseau. Uh, this is a more of a modern fragrance, 2011, created by Jean-Paul Millet Lage. And the fragrance comes in a 120 ml bottle like this, retails for $170. The bottles, I always mention this, are refillable bottles or decantable bottles, as you can see. And this is considered a leather or leathery floral fragrance. So the notes in Queer Fetiche, at the top you've got red mandarin, bergamot, geranium, lemon. In the heart notes you've got leather, ylang ylang, jasmine, rose, iris. In the base notes you've got musk, ambergris, sandalwood, and patchouli. Now I want to say something about a fragrance that's no longer available or sold. Now the fragrance I'm talking about is a fragrance from the House of Creed. It's been vaulted. Royal English Leather. Now I've had the pleasure of experiencing that fragrance as uh, a friend gave me a 10 ml decant from their bottle. And I've cherished that fragrance for a while because it's one of the best leather fragrances that I've ever put my nose on. But it's no longer around. It's gone. It's not to be found anywhere. But if you're looking for something similar to that fragrance, you've got it in Queer Fetiche from Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. So what happens with this one is it starts off citrusy at the top, a little bit aromatic, mostly citruses. You've got the mandarin, the bergamot, lemon, with a little bit of geranium thrown in. But immediately leather takes over. This again is absolutely about leather. Leather is the main player here and leather start, dominates immediately. Like the citruses come in, but leather just takes over. Along with the leather in the heart, you also experience iris. I think this iris is pretty dominant here, which actually gives the fragrance a powdery touch. So you've got leather and you've got iris, but this leather, soft, sweet, and suede. Uh, beautiful leather. It's very, very soft and sexy uh, kind of leather. But once you get into the base notes, you still experience the leather. As I said, the leather is dominant. It just pretty much takes over because it's all about leather. You experience musk. It's a very, very musky experience. A really, really beautiful and sexy leathery musk. And then you also have some ambergris with a little bit of sandalwood. So it's a woody experience in the base, but it's all about leather. A very, very soft, cozy, very smooth, beautiful and sexy leather. The powdery elements are pretty big here, so you might want to think about that if you are not into the powdery styles of fragrances, but this is after all all about leather, a powdery floral leather. The other fragrance I want to mention is that kind of reminds me of this. They're not similar, but it has hints of that fragrance is Kirkenage from um, Dior, which is no longer widely available. This one is available at Lucky Scent and it's 120 ml for $170, which is a great, great price. One more fragrance. If you're a fan of fragrances like Knize 10 or Knize 10 um, Golden Edition, which I have, then you're gonna like this one as well because it's that kind of leather. It's slightly animalic, but not quite. It's very, very sexy. It's very powdery and floral, but a very, very smooth suede-like leather. It's, um, I'm, not I'm not sure how fetishy this leather is, but um, I can see people having a fetish for leather and I get the, the, the name comes from that, I'm, I'm assuming. 
but uh, for me, this is very, very smooth and very, very refined leather. One of the best leather fragrances and really, really like a close uh, alternative to Royal English Leather from Creed, which is a phenomenal fragrance experience, like one of the best fragrances I have ever, ever smelled in my life. If you've ever smelled the fragrance, then that, maybe because it's no longer available, but it's it's awesome. But if you can't find that, which I'm assuming you're not going to be able to find it easily because it's vaulted, this is a great, great alternative. It is Queer Fetiche from Maitre Parfumé at Gantier. So guys, are you familiar with Queer Fetiche from Maitre Parfumé at Gantier? I didn't, are you familiar with the Maitre Parfumé at Gantier collection of fragrances? I'm sure you've seen me talk about Ambre per so much. I've featured it in Amber videos, I've reviewed it, and of course Ambre Mythique is another one. But this is a great, great house from Paris. Uh, started by Jean Laporte, who started L'Artisan Parfumé. So he launched two different indie perfume houses. L'Artisan Parfumé became popular and he left it, and I think he launched this one, uh, Maître Parfumé at Gantier, and the house is still around. Their fragrances are awesome. One thing I want to mention is their fragrances are also very beastly, intense experiences. So if you like your fragrances big and intense, Definitely check this one out. I don't think this is as intense as Ombre Pissot or even Ombre Mystique. This has a more sophistication to it. Doesn't scream as loud, but it is a very, very intense leather fragrance. So let me know your thoughts. Are you familiar with this house? Do you know Queer Fetiche? Do you know Maître Parfumé at Gantier's Ombre Pissot and Ombre Mystique? Put a comment down. And then finally, if you want to participate in our giveaway for a full bottle of Queer Fetiche, Ship worldwide, thanks to the wonderful folks at Maître Parfumé de Gantier. Please write down what your favorite leather fragrance is. Also, let me know what sounds great about Queer Fetiche. And let me know what you liked about my review, of course. And then finally, put your country down. Please make sure you follow these rules, and please make sure you're subscribed as well. There's a subscribe button below. Click that with the bell notification op uh, icon and then other than that we'll wait until the giveaway is over and we'll randomize the list and then pick a uh, lucky winner for this fragrance it is a, an awesome fragrance guys if you like leather fragrances this is a must try for sure thanks guys for watching if you have any questions or comments please list below otherwise please like this video please share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye